When something is important enough you do it even if the odds are not in your favor, Elon Musk once said. This sentiment encapsulates the essence of persistence, the fuel that drives us to keep pushing, keep striving, even when the journey seems impossible. Musk himself is a testament to this tenacity. He's faced countless roadblocks yet he's never wavered in his pursuit of his dreams. He firmly believes in the power of persistence stating, No, I don't ever give up, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. It's a powerful reminder that giving up is not an option when we're chasing our dreams. But persistence isn't just about refusing to quit, it's about belief. Belief in the possibility of success, belief in the potential within ourselves. Musk puts it succinctly. The first step is to establish that something is possible, then probability will occur. However, this journey isn't easy. He admits, there are way easier places to work, but nobody ever changed the world on 40 hours a week. It takes an incredible drive to make things happen, to transform dreams into reality. You have to be pretty driven to make it happen, otherwise you will just make yourself miserable, he warns. And finally persistence is about resilience. It's about being ready to face losses, yet still daring to march into the future. As Musk puts it, you must be willing to lose it all, but be willing to keep going into the future. Persistence then, is not just about surviving adversity but thriving amidst it. There's a tremendous bias against taking risks, everyone is trying to optimize their ass covering, Musk pointed out. This statement is not just a passing comment, it's a reflection of Musk's belief in the power of risk-taking. He says, Failure is a good option, if you are not failing you are not trying hard enough. A thought that goes against the grain, it's a mindset that embraces failure not as an end, but as a stepping stone to success. Musk's commitment to his ventures is absolute. He once shared, I always invest my own money in the companies that I create. I don't believe in the whole thing of just using other people's money. I don't think that's right. A true testament of his conviction and willingness to take on personal risk for what he believes in. He's no stranger to fear, admitting, I wouldn't say I have a lack of fear. In fact, I'd like my fear emotion to be less because it's very distracting and fries my nervous system. Yet he doesn't let fear dictate his decisions. Remember the early days of SpaceX? Musk confessed, I messed up the first three launches. Fortunately the fourth launch worked. Or it would have been. That would have been it for SpaceX. But fate liked us that day. In the face of failure Musk remains undeterred. As he puts it, there's a silly notion that failure is not an option at NASA. Failure is an option here. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. An ethos that keeps pushing the boundaries towards a future beyond our wildest dreams. The value of beauty and inspiration is very much underrated, no question. But I want to be clear, I'm not trying to be anyone's savior, I'm just trying to think about the future and not be sad, Musk stated. This perspective underscores the power of self-improvement, a journey that is not about becoming someone else's ideal, but rather, fulfilling your own potential. Musk emphasizes the importance of embracing negative feedback, viewing it as an opportunity for growth and improvement. He encourages us to solicit it particularly from those who care about us, as they often provide the most honest and valuable insights. He also reminds us of the joy and fulfillment that comes from pursuing what we're passionate about. It's not about chasing success or money, it's about chasing what makes us genuinely happy and content. And lastly, he inspires us to find reasons to live, to seek out what inspires us, and to cultivate a love for the future. There have to be reasons that you get up in the morning and you want to live. Why do you want to live? What's the point? What inspires you? What do you love about the future? If the future does not include being out there among the stars and being a multi-planet species I find that incredibly depressing.